Hey kids, Reverend James here. I'm recording this on uh, Friday before the weekend. It's a beautiful sunny day and it's supposed to be a beautiful sunny weekend with nice warm temperatures. So I hope when you're watching this, it's a great day and you get to spend lots of time outside today enjoying the sunshine and the warm weather. I'm really looking forward to all the leaves coming on the trees and everything being lush and green. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, one of the Bible stories that we hear today from the book of Acts. It's about St. Paul. Now, St. Paul was known as an apostle to the Gentiles, which means that he traveled all over the place, all over the, the area in which he was from, but even further away across oceans, Mediterranean Sea, to tell people about Jesus. And the love of God that Jesus came to show everyone and teach everyone because Paul wanted everyone to know that if we know God loves us and we try to love each other, if we try to live the teachings of Jesus, it's going to make the world a much better place. So one of the places that St. Paul traveled to was a city called Athens, which is in Greece. Uh, still a, an important world city today with thousands of years of history and St. Paul is is walking through the streets and it's a, a beautiful city of marble statues and monuments and he sees this this one monument dedicated to an unknown God. Now there are many different types of religions and cultures in St. Paul's day just like there is in our day today. Maybe you have friends at school or, uh, or somewhere that have a different religion or faith or belief than you do. And that's okay. It's great that we all have different beliefs and experiences. One of the things that this monument that Paul sees to an un unknown God tells us is that we all have different experiences of God. And there's parts of God that we don't know that are unknown to you to me to other people but if we can listen and hear each other's experiences of god and what we believe it'll help us understand god that much more there are so many things that are very similar in in basically all religions that god loves us that god asks us to love each other god asks us to be compassionate and care for each other and to care for the world to the environment and creation i just want to show you this uh, funny cartoon it's all these people who are blindfolded and they're all individually examining this elephant though, though they don't really know it's an elephant so one guy looks at the tusks and says it's a spear and another guy is feeling the ears and says, it's a fan. Another one is feeling the elephant's trunk and says, it's a snake. Another one, the, the, the elephant's legs, it's a tree. The guy on the ladder feels the elephant's side and says, it's a wall. And finally, the guy in the end is feeling the elephant's tail and says, it's a rope. But of course, they're all wrong. It's none of those things. It's an elephant. But if they were to put all their experiences and knowledge together, together they'd be able to figure out it's really an elephant. And that's something that the reading from the Bible today is inviting us to do. To listen to each other, to listen to each other's experiences, to put our experience, our beliefs, our knowledge together, and that way we can all learn more about who God is, we can learn more about who we are, and how the world works. And in knowing together and working together and experiencing together, we can make the world a better place. I just like to share this uh, story with you. It's called In God's Name. In God's Name by Sandy Sasso. The voice of God is in the uniqueness of each and every person. The Holy One said, do not be confused because you hear many voices. Know that I am one and the same. After God created the world, all living things on earth were given a name. The plants and the trees, the animals and the fish, and each person, young and old, had a special name. 
but no one knew the name for God. So each person searched for God's name. The farmer whose skin was dark like the rich brown earth from which all things grew called God source of life. The girl whose skin was as golden as the sun that turned night into day called God creator of light. The man who tended sheep in the valley called God shepherd. The tired soldier who fought too many wars called God maker of peace. The artist who carved figures from the earth's hard stone called God my rock. Sometimes the people who called God by different names were puzzled. They said, every living thing has a single name, the marigold, pansy, and lily, the oak tree, sequoia, and pine. God must have a single name that is greater and more wonderful than all other names. Each person thought his name for God was the greatest. Each person thought her name for God was the very best. The farmer who called God source of life said, This is the true name for God. The girl who called God creator of light insisted, This is the most splendid name for God. The shepherd, the soldier, and artist believed they each had the perfect name for God. But no one listened, least of all God. And so each person kept searching for God's name. The woman who cared for the sick called God healer. The slave who was freed from bondage called God redeemer. The grandfather whose hair was white with the years called God ancient one. The grandmother who was bent with age and sorrow called God comforter. The young woman who nursed her newborn son called God Mother. The young man who held the hand of his baby daughter called God Father. And the child who was lonely called God Friend. All the people called God by different names. They tried to tell one another that their name was the best, the only name for God, and that all other names were wrong. But no one listened, least of all God. So each person kept searching for God's name. Then one day, the person who called God Ancient One, and the one who called God Friend, and the one who called God Mother, and the one who called God Father, all the people who called God by a different name came together. They knelt by a lake that was clear and quiet like a mirror. God's mirror. Then each person who had a name for God looked at the others who had a different name. They looked into God's mirror and saw their own faces and the faces of all the others. And they called out their names for God. Source of life, creator of light, shepherd, maker of peace, my rock, healer, redeemer, ancient one, comforter, mother, father, friend, all at the same time. At that moment, the people knew that all the names for God were good, and no name was better than another. Then, all at once, their voices came together, and they called God one. Everyone listened. Most of all, God.